Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to look at what Eternum has to offer in settlements and governance. Uh, when you're looking at New World MMO, you're going to have these settlements and governance and forts and all that kind of thing. We're going to try to look a little bit deeper into what we have here. So we're going to start with the basic question is, what is a settlement? A settlement is where players live, congregate, craft, trade, work on town projects, and support their faction through faction missions. Death is not the end in Eternum. So settlements also serve as a respawn point for players unfortunate enough to have a fatal mishaps on their adventures. How do you claim a settlement? During the early stages of the game, players must choose between one of the three factions. Uh, more of these will have uh, farther details in the, you know, in the blogs in the future. We'll learn about more of the factions, what factions we have to choose from. But once you choose a faction, you can create or join a company. When a company is created, it inherits the faction of its creator. Companies can gain control, a territory, and the settlement or fort that it contains. If the territory is uncontrolled, this is as simple as paying the claim fee at the territory's fort. If the territory is already controlled by a company, the territory must be taken through war, which can only occur between companies that belong to different factions. We'll dwell farther into war and its other related mechanics in another article, so stay tuned for that. What is the difference between a settlement and a fort? A settlement is where players own homes, craft, refine items, trade, take faction missions, and socialize. A territory's fort is the major point of defense for a territory. It is what comes under attack during war PvP, invasion PvE, and it's where players need to go in order to claim an unclaimed territory. Where do you become... Or how do you become a governor? The leader of a company is called a governor. Initially, a company's governor is the person who created it. When a company takes control of a territory, the governor of the company also becomes the governor of the controlled territory. What can you do as a governor? Ultimately, the faction that has a company belong to its true ruler of a territory. Companies act as a proxy for the faction that they are part of. As a governor, your responsibility is to maintain control of your territory or faction. You are also responsible for upgrading and maintaining the quality of life in your settlement by starting town projects that result in settlements and upgrades. When completed, dues in the form of territory upkeep must be paid to the faction your company is a part of. In order to pay this upkeep, the governor can adjust taxes and fees in their settlement so that travelers and residents help pay the keep as they craft, trade, and live in their houses. They also can make their settlement more desirable to own a home and by focusing on particular upgrades or particular types of players. What is a consul and what do they do? A consul is a governor's second in command. A company can have as many or as few consuls as it wishes. Consuls have almost all of the same permissions and powers of the governor of the company and territory that they control. Ultimately, a consul can do things a governor might need to do in the governor's absence. Being a governor can be a demanding role to play in New World. The consul rank in the company is a way of governors to share some of their responsibilities with other company members that they can trust. What and how can you upgrade your settlement? A settlement's crafting and refining stations can be upgraded. Upgrading these stations enables higher quality and more powerful items to be crafted by players that spend their time there. Additionally, a territory's lifestyle buffs and four upgrades are controlled by the governor. Lifestyle buffs are powerful long-term bonuses for things like crafting and combat that only apply to your territory's residents. Residences are people who own houses in your settlement. If a player does not own a house in a the settlement, they will not receive that territory lifestyle buff. Like the other upgrade, lifestyle buffs are activated through town projects set by the territory's controlling company. Town projects are large-scale activities that people can work on together to upgrade their settlement. Town projects require a significant amount of effort and investment from not only the controlling company, but also the other players that call that settlement home. Town projects are activated by a settlement's governor or one of their consuls. When a town project is activated, players in the town can take missions that progress the project towards completion. These missions award XP and currency among other things, but more importantly, they advance the town project. For example, let's say we want to upgrade your settlement's forge, which will enable weapon and armor crafters to create higher quality arms and armor for their adventures. To do so, you would have to activate the upgrade forge, town project, and then you and your members of your company and anyone else living in the town can work together to complete that project. 
How does a settlement level up or down? Each time a town project completes, the settlement levels up. Settlements begin to level down when upkeep is not paid due to the controlling faction or players fail to repel a corrupted invasion. We'll dig into corrupted invasions more deeply on our road towards closed beta. While you can use the services of any settlement, you join one by purchasing a house there. Anyone can live there in any house, in any settlement, regardless of which faction they are in or what company that controls the territory. If the territory changes hands, the residents of a settlement are aside to any changes to taxation, upgrades, and lifestyle buffs the new controlling company might make. We'll have a lot more information on a player housing in future developer blog. Uh, whether you aspire to be a governor, a highly valued citizen, or a simply a wandering adventurer, settlements are a place you'll want to call home and fight to protect. Governors are the leaders of companies and the rulers of territories. Thank you for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you next time on the next New World MMO video.